anything you want to say? Did you ski today? Yes, tonight? Yeah. Let's hope it doesn't rain all of this nice snow. All right. Um, approve the minutes of January 21st. I would take a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. And second it. <laughs> so any discussion of the <laughs> can't operate my pages, don't mind me. Do you, do you need one? No. I have one. I have one. Yeah. Thank you. I guess I'll take one. Since okay. So I don't have to read on my phone. No, I, I, not no. that I know. Okay. Seeing none, should I give you a minute? I'm good. You're good. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Town meeting preparation. Um, I don't. Have the slideshow going. Yep. Yeah. And other than that, thinking about what you talked about last month, you're just gonna do like a a little update typical, on right. Yeah. Other than not having a budget to approve, so we're meeting on that Saturday, right? Yes. Yeah. The only addition that I had, the, and just thinking of what we just talked about, is that if maybe we should make aware the community on our work on trauma and how the staff, like, you know, that's a great opportunity for them mm -hmm. to know and be informed mm -hmm. and ask questions. What better time than getting them there? That, would that be, mm -hmm. work is going to come out in the town report. Yeah. So I'd be happy to That'd be speak great. to it or answer any questions if they come up. They So they'll have something they will have read by them yeah. on the work. So yeah, we it's could always make it worth actually big, saying something. Yeah, so we could make it like part of our little cheat sheet or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to yeah. use so the slideshow, a few words from you on the work that is being done. Sure. And I think it would be really great for them to know how many teachers from East Montpelier are involved in that. That's a lot. Exactly. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. There's actually a wait list. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything in the big meeting, but I just want to say again how grateful I am that you guys are doing that work. Yeah. It's really important work. Yeah. Moving out of the punishment paradigm and to something more constructive is really. So I had a question about that as well, or well, not a question, because I, I, I love the work, but how do you balance the effects that outbursts have on the other kids versus the uh, the needs of that child to remain in the classroom. That's a really, those children. yeah, that's a very, very tricky one because that's having an impact. Like, that could be traumatizing everyone in that classroom. Um, and that's something, and it's great that you're here. Uh, that's something <laughs> we sure. talk about and struggle with all the time. And, and I think... So, you know, we always have to be cognizant of it, but then there's also sometimes a classroom where there's more sensitive kids, right, that that have an impact. Um, it's teaching a lot of empathy towards that student, and it's also knowing when to remove that student. Like when, you know, there's times when we need to have empathy, and then there's times when we just can't impact everyone's learning. Well, and um, you have to have empathy for the larger group. Exactly. Right. It's tricky. Can I, can I say something? Yeah. So I think one of the things that kind of Dave knowing was the fact that um, a lot of the outbursts and disruptions are public. So you can have class-wide conversations. You know, if a student has to leave, the teacher can sit down with that class and say, wow, that just happened. How's everyone feeling? Do you have any questions? So it's not a, it's mm -hmm. not a private thing. It happens mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. And I always encourage teachers to process with kids if and when we have to leave, you know, our student has to leave. And then if parents bring up individual concerns of kids that are really affected by things, always meet with them and their child, try to figure out why, share as much information as I can, you know, confidentiality yeah. wise to try to reassure that student. So just to be clear, you guys know I'm in the I'm around quite often and yeah. I completely appreciate mm -hmm. how you guys are handling how you guys handle these situations and it just I, I'd been thinking about it quite a bit because mm -hmm. I you know like we've had interactions where I know a student was struggling and you came in and didn't remove him 
because we'd got you know he'd kind of the student had kind of settled a little bit on his own and or with help and I just wanted you guys to know that I do appreciate it, but it just made me think about how do you balance that? And it's tricky and it's, and it's always case by case and moment by right. moment. But I think what Michael was talking about, that's been a huge mind shift for us because in the past we always wanted to protect that student or protect the class and it's like unmentionable, right? You just don't talk about it, but everybody sees it and knows it. Um, right. And we even had to have a conversation with a sixth grade student this year who had an outburst to say, so we have to talk to the class about this. And the student was really upset. And we said, it wasn't a secret. They all saw what you did. Mm -hmm. Like we, we, in order to build and repair relationships, we have to acknowledge it and right. talk mm -hmm. about it and get okay. it. So okay. it has been a huge, a huge mind shift. And there's that empathy piece as well. You know, there's a student, you know, the student this last week that the mother said was really upset. And he, he wasn't upset because of the child's behavior. He was upset because he wanted, what could he do to help that child? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. That's amazing. So it was like almost a full 360 yeah. on, on why that student was upset, which was amazing. I think our kids do an incredible job of empathizing with kids of all different mm -hmm. situations in our school. And I think building that as opposed to shushing it Trying up to right. about it. Yeah, absolutely. And as they grow with those kids, Kids push buttons. So, <laughs> I, don't I, don't I think the other thing is just communicating with families. If your child is being impacted, talk to us. Let mm -hmm. us know. We had that actually happen um, in a classroom this week where the teacher and a set of parents talked about their, their little um, young student who was really struggling and starting to develop his own Anxiety. behaviors. Uh -huh just because he was so confused by what he was seeing and couldn't process it. And so we've got to, right, we wouldn't have known otherwise if the parent hadn't talked to mm -hmm. us. Um, so just keeping those lines of communication open, like let the teacher know, call one of us, um, because we don't always know the impact, right? Like we're, we, even the adults, you know, don't always quite know the best way to handle it after the fact, after mm -hmm. an episode happens or, you know, there's a big blowout or, you know, you see Michael hearing the student down the hall, like it, it can be upsetting. And if we don't know that someone's impacted, we can't help them. But it's been great work. And um, we were kind of jokingly telling Kat to go up because she's been so involved in this for so long and with her counselor background. And for most of us, it's new learning. Like we're, it's, it's thinking differently about how we've always done things, which is, exciting and we're seeing we're seeing impacts on teachers and just the way that they're totally shifting the way they respond they to mm -hmm. awesome. different behaviors yeah it's good okay. anything else for town meeting i'll have everything set for you for saturday you'll need the mic are you going to do are you doing that I don't know. I no. I don't. No, I think I don't not. think we do. Yeah. Um, so it'll be just the mic. I, I guess that's a little bit of a question. I mean, we, yes, we no could do it we without do it presenting because, a budget. Yeah. Um, we could still show where are just, we putting right, the money and just make sure and just make sure that we're keeping the pies where we want to keep showing that mm -hmm. we're most of the money is going to the instructional pie mm -hmm. and not everywhere else. So. Yep. We could do a smaller version of your yeah. show presentation just to yep. as an information. I think that was yeah, that's going to be the I tricky part. The work. Yeah. I mean, so you you are recommending. Something. Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely. We've yeah. recommended a budget. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, maybe. Should. It may it may be a good idea to to do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll. A small version of your usual version. To, right. Okay. And if there's anything you need, just let me know. Um, I guess just problem. when the slideshow is. I'll send is, it. To is Lori working on it, or are you working on it? I'm only doing the the, the amazing things that have happened in the slideshow. Okay. <laughs> the slideshow. <laughs> Not the. Not the. No, no, okay. no, no. Just so the photos. I just the photos. Lori, what? I don't know what's happening with all 
with that. I'll ask Lori. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'll try and turn that around fast. Because mm -hmm. we're in the middle of February already. Okay. Anything else on Act 46? <laughs> Sorry, huh, right. town meeting. <laughs> was like, when? Trying to move us. <laughs> right. That was a quick town meeting. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move us to Act 46 <laughs> now. Okay. okay, everybody good? Good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think we should oh. be prepared for answering some hard questions that, that day, you know, especially mm -hmm. knowing that, you know, Berlin and Calais are now putting their budgets to to vote yep. yeah so you know so just having a quick cheat sheet um, we are putting that article in the signpost mm -hmm. with 80 that it was a you know a collaboration people I, I was a little afraid of putting something out mm -hmm. after the last uh, article because we it might be all Right. Not right. right. By the time it changed. Right. Completely changed by the time it by by the time it it when comes does it out. Come out? It, it'll come out right before no, town meeting. Okay. Yeah. Right before town meeting. So so it's not great. Right it, just the last week of February is when it comes yeah. out. So it might be completely out of date. But I think after this February nineteenth meeting that would happen or not happen on Tuesday. I don't okay. see how it wouldn't happen now. Yeah. We will. Unless something drastic happens on Friday, which would be surprising. Yeah, so Friday is the hearing. Mm -hmm. The first hearing, but I can't imagine that he's going to do something, that the judge will right. do something right away. So it just still has to run its, its, its course. But, but it still leaves us all in limbo, mm -hmm. which is the part I'm not so... Well, I, I mean... We are and we aren't. There's, uh, this is my editorial a, a little bit, but I think there's a lot more sense of being in limbo than we actually are. I mean, the reality is that from an operational perspective, at this point, nothing has changed. Yeah, like, but there's a whole bunch of things that are happening in the background, and I, but none of them have turned into something that anybody has to do anything about. Yet. Uh, yet. Well, we, you know, we don't have a date to vote in our of agreement. We don't, you know, like we, we don't have certainty in anything. We're, yeah. we, our school is not putting a budget to vote, so, yeah. so we're assuming the process is going, to, I feel very much so my, in limbo. <laughs> right. So my perspective, I know what I, you know, and I think a lot of the, the community maybe was confused as well by the article that said it was you know the postponement mm -hmm. like to mm -hmm. me it wasn't super clear that you know it still had to go it through was, the senate and the government you know what i mean like it seemed like it was not presented it missed important details details exactly yeah. Yeah. and so i think i think that's why yeah. there, there's a feeling of limbo to me right so if that yeah. if, if that passed the senate we would be in the category b which means that it would give us a whole extra no. year to agreed put, to put our but an, unless and until that happens <laughs> so that we can waste work. another year <laughs> getting nowhere and talking about all the ways that we can't work together <laughs> so um uh, there it doesn't it doesn't require anything of this board I, I guess, no. like, just to oversimplify, this board has n has just, no change of course. Right. Just we, like we've had no change of course, with the exception in. of the delay mm -hmm. of the organizational meeting right. and just the election of the of the new board. That's the only sort of operational thing. Well, and the budget. And, and what happens? And from this board, budget? but, but. The budget, our process as a board, hasn't changed from well, a budget perspective. Well, it, it kind it, of has because we were, you know, we normally present a budget for the voters on town meeting day. We did not do that, 
if anything changes, we then have to to then present the budget to the town. Right, but what I'm saying is that this my expectation has been right along that we as a board would not present a budget on town meeting day. And that was a conversation that we had last month. Um, and nothing has come, like there are things moving and I can acknowledge that, but nothing has, has solidified to the point where that, that course of action yeah has changed Agreed. Agreed. It, it's sort of like what bill was saying if and when something changes then we will address we yep. will will address that and personally uh, for me unless and until something changes <laughs> just moving ahead um, because trying to anticipate all of the possible eventualities is crazy making and i just have no desire to do it I, I don't think it's constructive um, and I think it just further muddies the water there's there's enough confusion out there I think what we can do is be very clear about what our process is and not be reactionary to the various machinations that are going on out there unless and until we have to I was gonna say with as long as we have the ability to respond when ask questions about those mm -hmm. potential yeah, I mean, th this stuff is out there and it's happening. We yeah. we don't know what, if anything, they will mean for this board. I wonder if after Friday and or Tuesday, if something were to change, it would make sense to call another meeting before that Saturday so you could talk about that. Yeah, perhaps. Some, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. So that's that's that a good idea. Yeah, I mean, if, like, if, if nothing happens, great. You yeah. go as you're planning, and if something does change, to be prepared so that you don't get their feeling right. like oh. the one thing that we can do via email is set up a meeting yeah mm -hmm. so, so we if should news comes down that, that we right. need to adjust and get our ducks in a row then by all means at that point we would meet yeah, we should definitely so do, do we know if lindy wants to run for the transition uh, for the, the board the i assume so but i don't okay. i don't well i was I just going to offer to yeah, help speed <laughs> speed the signatures and do what I did with Stephen and just take a, take the forms to the school. Does she yeah. need to do, go through that? Yeah, that what needs to happen. Yeah, oh. yeah, but we can't have the forms on after the nineteenth. Oh, I thought we I thought you said tonight that you could have them earlier than that. I, I thought I just because I just asked Rosie and she sent an email saying I can't have them until then. I thought that tonight we, thought, we can't have them until the nineteenth. I thought Bill said we could have them before. T because it's such a tight line, tight line. So You don't date the right. petition. Oh, oh, no, you're right. Yeah, so you can't give the petition for you yet. However, I can give you one on being collecting sin signatures. Right. Is it for you and Lindy? We don't know about Lindy for sure. Well, but I think it, the conversation was, was that two yeah. meetings ago. She wanted well, she it. She wanted it, yeah. Yeah, and now we're, if we so are I'll able to pass the articles of agreement, our hope is that we would have three people, not two. But not this year. But not this year. Yeah. It will be until the next so year. So I'll email her if you want me to get your signatures at the um, school. You were a rock star. Uh, you were <laughs> a rock star, yeah. I was like, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to school <laughs> Tuesday. Nice. Tuesday. Right. But now that I know, I think I'm going to stop at Rosie's tomorrow and try to do some tomorrow at Oh, yeah, that's another oh, that's good idea. Something. That's what I was thinking. I'll be there most of the day tomorrow. Oh, you'll be or there? Most oh, of the so afternoon. I'll hang well, out with you tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. I'm so sorry. We'll all be there. We'll be an unwarned yeah. meeting. Unwarned <laughs> yeah. meeting. So get one for Lindy, too, and I'll, I'll okay. email her and yeah. mention it. We'll make yeah. sure to sit at different tables. <laughs> <laughs> We're not quorum. No, I thought that they passed something and that we can be at there at the same time. Yeah. Laura's coming to the third serving, so maybe you can come to the first, first two. Right. <laughs> yeah. I am. That's the one. I'm the first two. There you go. Yeah. But I should get there early, though, because the first two are the most attended, so yeah. that I can get the... Okay. Okay, back to... Sorry. Back to... Uh, have, have we talked about Act 46 enough? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I guess I could ask one question. How do, do you guys feel about the delay? I talked to you about it, the delay or not delay. It's we are, you know, since I'm part of the VSBA, I'm like always sort of, and I'm in the executive committee, I end up having to give input. Mm -hmm. And um, 
if you guys are feeling that you know we're not doing that. Go there? The, well, the Senate is going to uh, accept testimony on if they should delay or not delay. The, so extend a year. Do not extend it. That must my vote. Yeah. I want to get. I'd like to move forward. Just, Just get it done. Okay. So you yeah. don't feel misrepresented. <laughs> right. Good. Don't extend it. Yeah. We've had okay. three years to talk about all the ways that we can't make it work. Another year is not going to change anybody's position. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, administration. Everybody has read the administration report. Do you have anything to add? Mm, I don't mm -hmm. have anything. Well, I could add, I was a little bit late tonight um, because we were, so we are doing a 12-hour training on what's called the math menu, which is really just a, kind of like the readers and writers workshop model for math, um, and that is going on at school right now um, oh, nice. from 3 to 7, so I was trying to stay for as long as I could tonight. But I don't know if there's any questions. I didn't have any. Have any question? I, I, I guess my only question was, are, uh, I guess this might be one of the last reports that we're seeing like this, but are, you know, remember the other kind of report that you used to do too with the red and the, where things are? Do we get to see so, that again, well, or is pretty much just... <laughs> um, that was based on the continuous improvement plan, which mm -hmm. is now like one plan for the whole district, so it's not as easily to... So what I've tried okay. to do is is make the the bold the bullets under each of the bold the bold is our implementation plan. Oh, I so see. I kind of shifted because our our CIP kind of shifted into the implementation plan. Um, so I tried like comprehensive um, balance assessment system scoring and reporting responsive classroom PBIS. That's kind of ha the framework. But if you like the table format better, I'm happy to do that. It just doesn't, our CIP doesn't look the same yeah. as it used to with those clear dates. It was just easier to, you know, I like the narrative, but it was just easier, easier to see to where, where where we are yeah. to asking questions, but yeah. It was, it was, I, I, it was easy for me to do as well, but because the CIP isn't quite so um, at the discrete level anymore, it's broader. Mm -hmm. It was, I couldn't really say, like by June, this was going to happen. Thank you. Anything else? Fiscal report? So you'll notice there are some changes. Um, there's a whole lot of January updates. I can walk through those. Laura shared kind of the big picture with all of you. So, on the first page, and I'm not sure what page it is in the big It's 19. 19. 18, actually. 18. No, 19, sorry. Good. Yes, so all the, Jan I, G is it helpful? Do you want me to just run through all of the January updates? Sure. That would be great. Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it'll take long. But the interest income... It's just, so I think what Bill had Lori do is do a projection of what end of year closing would look like based on where we are right now. Mm -hmm. So that's just a projection of the, um, based on the interest rates and spending, that $17,545. Um, the next one down, Lori talked to tonight, that's the, um, the shared benefits, like she gave the example of Callis and East Montpelier share staff. Mm -hmm. Um, Sam Mishkin is a good example of that. So Sam, her FTEs is higher at East Montpelier than Callis, so we pay and Callis reimburses. Um, is and it you'll still, or is it still a higher FTE at East Montpelier? Or did we a little bit. Okay. Callis has, has um, slightly less than us. Okay. Yeah. Um, the next one down, um, reimbursements, same thing. Um, this was, I think, um, looking at WCSU costs and updating just where we're at um, for the WCSU budget. 
the do you have the mine may have been an older version I'm gonna look at yours. Um, yeah, no those well those income reimbursements are um, the special ed reimbursements are ones for the local for the local special ed staff that run through these monthly or budget and the miscellaneous income reimbursements are changing. There's there's other than just special ed from uh, S SU special ed staff. But there are other little reimbursements in there for their income as well. So it's not just special education. Primarily being that though. Yeah, so special ed has its its own line underneath and that's that's for the local, the one above it's for remember the special WCSU. educators. The special educators the speech language pathologists, they work through Washington Central. So there was more reimbursement there that came to these monthly. There's less Um, and then looking at the um, expense changes, you'll see the salary and benefit update, um, shared benefits. So this is all from hiring. Lori cleaned up from all of our new hires and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. who took benefits and who didn't and all of that. So that's, um, that's that update under the expense changes. We had three, I think, three additional pre-K students than were budgeted for, and that's like such a shot in the dark. We never know who's going to take the mm -hmm. the reimbursement and who's not. So that's the cost for that. Um, and then the we had a, just a whole bunch of work done to the building in the fall, painting, um, repairs, maintenance. Mm -hmm. And those are the changes I don't. Um, so this might seem like a silly question two years in, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Um, so that first that first section revenue changes. Mm -hmm. Why does the projected budget go up there, but but down on the line below? So you'll see some of those go together. So you, like, you, are you looking at like the third one up from the bottom? And the Income shared benefits. No, she's looking at the fund. The voter approved versus yeah. the projected adjusted budget. Okay, so what's happening is you'll see there's about twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollar. We have more revenue than we think. Okay. So we're expecting that the projected is to be higher. And that's okay because that's income. Okay. The <laughs> expense side, we can't okay. change. We actually went down in expense. Right. By so okay. over eight thousand mm dollars. -hmm. So okay. Okay. Right. Got it. So what we're actually spending is the next the bulk yeah. of the second. Yeah. And okay. the, the difference will give you what the current. See that subtotal yeah. of fund balance. <coughs> the difference between the two. Well, you have yeah, you have some of those. The difference between it's the, the two sum is of the two, right? Nine, and then what you have left over from the previous year's projected fund balance, and then we have reserve for technology because we use a technology. Right. So you never know, have the peaks and valleys. It's just capital. It's just like we would capital. Uh, same idea as capital budget. We right. capitalize technology, and then um, use board elected to take care of a teacher's return, return package. So that's why that makes sense. So our budgeting, just if I'm understand, is basically an expense budget. Correct. Yeah, and then and what we're expense. looking at here is the the revenue side is we've yeah. got. What we revenue from, from the, the state, we yes. get revenue from the local private, right? Yeah. And we get reimbursements, all of the bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Ideally, that number one actual be should be the same or higher. Yeah. Because it's money coming in. And okay. The other Plus, side should be the I, same or lower. Well, Alicia and I would never do anything beyond the voter approved budget unless authorized by the board. So we ask you to authorize us mm -hmm. to spend and the auditor will look for that. We always try to keep the target at 4%. Yeah. Um, Ruben, I came in because your negotiation rep was not at, couldn't be here tonight. Mm -hmm. We were under the weather. So um, I would be glad, and I did it with one other board, to go into executive session and give you the details that we've given in the general session. Mm -hmm. the details. 
I wouldn't mind them. But. Uh, I'm not opposed to getting them. Yeah. I mean, we're going to get them. Once, get, once we get the printed copy. Uh, uh, no, let's, all right, well, let's do that. I, let's that. let's yeah. be, now we have considered it as a board and, um, okay, so we don't have a board order. No, there isn't there is no. one for East Montpelier. So I'm just, I'm thinking okay. about, like, if we're going to go into executive session, we just can let these folks go it. and yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not make you come back. Okay. Um, you want to finish everything? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we're we're, we're there. Yeah. Do, um, do you want to ask Bill about the discussion around town meeting and the, oh. while he's here? Um, so we had a brief conversation about slides, and so we're doing the presentation that we do every year, yeah. and then we sort of wandered off into the should we do the slides like we normally do, and it seems like we should, right, even though we're not approving a budget or giving a budget to the voters for approval we can still talk about the process and yeah. um, and I think we've probably set that expectation um, maybe not completely intentionally but we've set that expectation that um, we would do that so I had to make a decision with Lori uh, looking at her workload mm -hmm. and we're not supporting any board doesn't mean you can't make one I know you can make a PowerPoint so mm -hmm. um, Okay. Yeah, don't do a lot, all the way to here it is just do the narration yeah Lori's done that for the last right. year so, or two so okay. <laughs> so she does not have the time right now to okay do that. that's and that's yeah. fine I make a call, unfortunately. um so then yeah, I, I will, talk about the, I will get budget. last year's presentation yeah and, we, and, and we'll I'll dust about it off and then I'll ask you for the CLA dollar yield and yeah. Yeah. budget numbers and I mean we can I, yeah, and simplify like we said you know like I think the most important is I'm, I'm the sensing pie. a theme yes the I, pie, I'll the make pie sure that the pie chart that shows chart. where the money goes yeah. is there instruction like, so don't so like slides not kill from yourself Murray. you know that's what I'm trying to say you know just like simplify yeah, it yeah. No problem. Okay. Um, okay. So I will make sure that I make myself a <laughs> calendar item to spend a couple yeah, hours on do, that. If we can do that next week. No, it's not happening this week. So. It's not happening this week either. <laughs> I'm just trying not to have it. I will be working during vacation, but I'm trying not to do that. Anymore. Right. No, I, I mean, normally I try to get the narration done yeah. early in vacation so that it's there and out there. So. Yeah. Um, and I will make sure that I run it by. Mm -hmm. um, Do we have the time on Saturday? That's Saturday. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock yeah. or nine thirty or nine. On Tuesday or Saturday. 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 Uh, now you're making me doubt. Is it nine or nine thirty? I'm always there at eight thirty. Oh, uh, nine is close enough. Nine. Yeah. Good enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, just away. On okay. Friday. Can't nine. remember to see when it. Um. So, it, so uh, yeah. Can I ask you a question, Bill, about, because we said that, you know, we might get some questions that day about Act 46 anyway. So how does uh, Berlin and Callas come to the decision on voting on their budget? Uh, they decided, they had discussion about it, decided to do it. Okay. That's really all I can say is. Okay. Middlesex had a discussion, you said it not to. Okay. I just didn't know if there was anything different yep. or, yeah. Good. Okay. Um, I think that brings us to the last piece, which is to do an executive session to talk about contract negotiations, which I will move us into at 7.38. I would take a motion to move us to executive session. I'll make a motion to move us to executive session. I'll second it. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> trying to write, right and I can't like right. run it all at the right same on. time. Man. I think they want to see how quickly they can get out of here. Yeah. 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 Okay.
get to the end of it.